السلام عليكم dear students today we are going to draw the label the new spinal thalamic tract the very spinal thalamic tract and compare both the tracts what is the benefit of having pain sensations pain is what brings the patient to the doctor there are two types of pain fast pain of 0.1 second and there is slow pain of 1 second fast pain like sharp breaking uh, needle break acute electric pain Slow pain in which burning, acting, throbbing, chronic pain. Fast pain is carried by new spinal thalamic tract. Slow pain is carried by failure spinal thalamic tract. The stimuli for pain, it could be mechanical, thermal, or chemical. In case of new spinal thalamic tract, the fast pain, the stimulus is mechanical or thermal. The surface, as you already know, the nerve index, the nerve fibers, because it is fast pain, so the nerve fibers are a delta. So the fibers they go, they have the first order neuron in the dorsal root ganglion, they enter into the spinal cord, second order neuron in the dorsal horn of spinal cord, as a lamina, which is called as lamina marginalis, crosses to the opposite side, ascending the anterolateral spinal thalamic tract. To the thalamus, thalamus is the third order neuron in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus, and then to the somatosensory area for perception of the sensations. So you can see lamina marginalis is lamina one in the dorsal horn of spinal cord. This is just again the repetition just to revise localization of fast pain. Yes, there is localization of fast pain because of two reasons. One, the fibers terminate in the somatosensory area, which has topographical representation of the body, so there is localization. Second reason is, along with the pain fibers, the neurotransmitter in case of fast pain is the glutamine. Talking about slow, uh, slow pain pathway, paleospinal thalamic tract, the stimuli are mechanical, thermal, or chemical. The receptors are free nerve endings, and the nerve fibers are C fibers because it is the slow pain. So the C, fi the C fibers, they enter into the spinal cord. The C fibers synapse in the first order neuron in the dorsal root ganglion. Then they enter into the spinal cord. They have their second order neuron in the substantia gelatinosa, which is laminae two and three, and then another synapse in lamina five. Then the fibers decussate to the opposite side through the anterior commissure, ascending the anterolateral spinal thalamic tract. As we mentioned, if you remember the anterolateral spinal thalamic tract, some fibers they synapse in the reticular formation of the brain stem and some in the tactile area of the brain, of the midbrain. And then the, the fibers ascend and synapse, majority of the fibers they synapse in the intralaminal nucleus of thalamus. Some fibers, they synapse in the ventral posterior uh, lateral nucleus of the thalamus, and then the fibers majority, they go to the basal regions of the brain. Only few fibers, they go to the somatosensory area. So first order neuron in the dorsal root ganglion, second order neuron in the lamina two and three, substantia gelatinosa, and then again synapse in lamina, decussate to the opposite side and ascend in the anterolateral spinal thalamic tract. About one-tenth to one-fourth of the fibers, they go to the intralaminar nucleus and ventral posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus, which are the third order neuron, and then to the somatosensory area. However, majority of the fibers, they synapse in the reticular nuclei of brain stem, tactile area of midbrain, and very aqueductal region from these areas to the intralaminar nuclei of the thalamus, third order neuron, from there to the hypothalamus and basal regions of the brain. So these are the two pathways shown. The red one is the paleospinal thalamic tract and the blue one is the neospinal thalamic tract. Neurotransmitter in the paleospinal thalamic tract is substance P. There is no exact localization of chronic pain because it does not end in the somatosensory area. A person cannot sleep when in severe pain. Why? Because, yes, because there are synapses in the reticular formation, which is called as the arousal system of the brain. So reticular formation of the brain stem and the intralaminar nuclei of the thalamus, where the pain fibers terminate and stimulate, this causes awakening of the person. The person cannot sleep. So the two tracts, the new spinal thalamic tract and the periospinal tract, and you need to know the differences. We already ha have gone through the differences, so you can fill these tables. And if you have any questions, we can discuss in the class. Thank you.